on the road again today. We are loving Lansing like a local again today, and we are highlighting gardens this week uh, as we love Lansing like a local with the Greater Lansing Convention and Visitors Bureau. And I'm with Carolyn Miller, who's a plant recorder here at WJ Beale Botanical Garden here at Michigan State <laughs> University. And we all wore green just to match with the, right. the trees and the plants <laughs> and everything. So first of all, if people don't know, tell us a little history about the Beale Botanical Garden. So actually the Beale Botanical Garden will celebrate its 150th anniversary in two years, um, which is a milestone. And it was started by W.J. Beale, Professor Beale, uh, back in nine, I've got my 1873 <laughs> to a be exact, a long time ago, and it actually started on the other side of the road and called Sleepy Hollow. And eventually it moved to this side of the, of the campus. And there's actually down below us, there's actually an underground river that they capped it off and it, it flows somewhere. It goes underneath the garden. But um, it is such a spectacular place to visit, especially in the summertime and right now. Things are blooming. It's it's alive. The birds are here. Yeah. We've got a resident Cooper's Hawk family that will begin flying around the area pretty soon. But you know, with all the plant collections, so it's a it's all a number of diff different types of plant collections. Where we first have a section that is all the systematics of plants, all the plant families, and plants in those families. There's labels on everything, so it talks about all the characteristics of those, and then it turns into a lot of um, perfume based plants and dye plants and then it turns into injurious plants so plants that might injure you so well, and let's talk about that because we were kind of joking about this before uh, we got on today that um, there is actually the poison ivy plant in the injurious and you guys have that clearly marked so people don't touch it right yes it is clearly marked with red stakes all around it so don't just don't touch it <laughs> Please, unless you want poison ivy. And really, who wants that? I, I do have to say, too, one of the other unique plants that you have here is a banana plant. And you were saying that, that you have to uh, take some necessary steps to keep that growing, right? We do. We take necessary steps to keep it growing. So in the fall, before the frost hits, uh, we have a number of plants. We also have a pineapple over there. Things are dug up, and they're put into our nursery, and that's where they'll stay for the remainder of the winter. And as soon as we're done with that frost threat, we bring everything back out again and for everybody to see. So yeah, last year, actually, I believe the banana bloomed. So that was a showstopper. <laughs> nice. And this year, it doesn't look, it doesn't look like it might, it might bloom, who knows, but. Um, when it does bloom, what, uh, how, many, do, how many bananas are we talking if it does bloom? Is that how that works? It is actually okay. how it works. Okay. Um, it's a huge blossom and it just keeps peeling up and there's flowers. It just keeps alternating that flower all the way down. And you know, it can be a stack of, Bananas, it's two feet long. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds very appealing. It is. <laughs> <laughs> banana jokes. Okay, so we are going to be out here today uh, checking out all of the, the great things that you can find out here at WJ Beale Botanical Garden at MSU as we love Lansing like a local. By the way, you can go to lansing.org slash lovelansing to find out all of the great places that you can do a staycation this summer with the family, learn about a lot of different plants, and have a lot of fun with the family right here in your own backyard. We've got more with Carolyn, more at the gardens coming up. We'll talk endangered species here in a little bit. Right now, we're talking weather with Andy Provenzano.